Hey guys, welcome to chessroots.com. Today in this live game, I'm gonna show you a game played between Kramnik and Caruana Fabiano in Zurich Chess Championship 2013. Here Kramnik is white and Caruana is black. Knight f3, c5, c4, knight f6, g3, d5, Bishop g2, knight c6, castle shot, d4, e3, e5, e into d4, c into d4, d3. As we can see this position, uh, we often see this position from black side. This is a uh, uh, standard uh, Benoni structure so now white is playing uh, Benoni structure from white side so bishop e7 bishop g5 castle shot knight bd2 head 6 bishop into f6 bishop into f6 so the Benoni structure uh, is uh, one should say it is pretty easy to play uh, white should try to play uh, in this position yeah, he, he should play a3 b4 trying to create weakness on the queen side with the posture pawn and uh, should always uh, aim for this bishop uh, active whereas black should play uh, try to play f5 and e4 but this position it is not possible so because of one more white advantage so uh, white black will have double bishop uh, for the compensation of this attack and white will have a free breeze movement a3 a5 forced to play uh, prevent to b4 now here uh, Kramni played a very good positional move knight e1 the reason why knight e1 is very good simple a uh, he wants to open this bishop diagonal and not allowing this pin and capture this bishop, uh, knight on f3 and also supporting this uh, d3 pawn later he can transpose this knight to c2 and may push b4 so a multiple idea move and even in this position he can even threaten a moves like f4 so knight e1 is a pretty good move bishop f5 rook b1 now simply wants to play b4 and maybe b4 c5 knight c4 uh, with a clear advantage for white so black should not allow that and so you can have uh, two options like playing uh, uh, a4 one is a4 by playing a4 uh, white will still play b4 and after n passment for example let us say a4 and after b4 a b3 rook into b3 this position white is uh, uh, clearly better because of this weakness on p7 and white having a lots of counter chances on the queen side whereas black uh, so there is no way um, he can simply prevent uh, by playing a4 so here he played a, uh, another move by preventing a uh, p4 that is bishop e7 ok after bishop e7 queen e2 now he simply wants to play uh, knight e4 maybe bishop d5 there are lots of ideas for this and first of all he wants to uh, attack this pawn on e5 after bishop into c6 so rook e8 uh, so that he can threaten now after bishop into c6 b into c6 queen into e5 is not there uh, in view of bishop into a3 and bishop b4 with a very good uh, chances for um, black so bishop d5 not allowing for any counter chances and also the eyeing on f7 
and the main idea is to play knight g2 maybe knight g2 to knight f5 knight uh, sorry h4 or even knight g2 f4 is also possible bishop f8 knight g2 queen d7 now he is threatening uh, to play bishop g4 which is uh, very dangerous so um, you cannot prevent it by more like h3 or uh, f3 uh, is a little bad because of this uh, bishop on d5 there is no retreating squares for this bishop so f3 is uh, not uh, well, so good and if you move your queen uh, this d3 is uh, not supported so there is uh, uh, not much options left to play uh, and here Kramnik played a good move again queen f3 now you can think that bishop g4 is still possible but there is a threat of bishop into f7 check so for example bishop g4 bishop into f7 check if queen into f7 queen into g4 is uh, advantage so if king h8 he can simply play bishop queen d5 so uh, after uh, uh, queen f3 simply played bishop e6 rook f1 uh, white now simply wants the open files for this rook so he allowed to uh, make this pawn as a double and also he can sit this knight on e4 later he can play more like d6 or knight c5 or even knight c4 knight uh, attacking e5 is also pretty good knight c4 knight uh, b6 or knight e4 so uh, capturing of bishop d5 queen d5 queen d5 c d5 le leads right up uh, slight advantage position so rook a d8 now he's threatening to take bishop into d5 bishop into e6 forced to play bishop into rook into e6 now knight e4 after knight e4 black simply played bishop e7 uh, in view of uh, there is no g6 or any other moves like uh, knight f6 is a very good threat so queen h5 now he may be threatening of f4 or even uh, a most like knight uh, uh, h4 maybe knight f5 so rook f8 now he's threatening f5 trying to restrict the white's uh, movement after f5 this knight really don't have any good squares so white must do something very uh, quick and fast so g4 was played preventing f5 king h7 g5 a very uh, good idea of attacking uh, black king rook g6 f4 remember in this position there is no h4 uh, in view of queen h3 and this pawn cannot be doing anything on uh, now he is threatening to play something like king g8 and h into g5 with a very good chances for black so f4 was forced to play e into f4 knight into f4 here black was forced to give an exchange sacrifice this rook didn't uh, don't really have any good square so he has to capture rook into g5 uh, knight into g5 bishop into g5 and here uh, white played knight g2 um, but i think knight uh, instead of knight g2 i really don't like this more uh, because white is having even for the good moves like uh, maybe um, this position even uh, knight d5 is very good or even the most like rook e4 and rook doubling on f file or e file is very good for white so rook e4 if we place a move like f5 
attacking f c uh, this f4 knight and e4 rook he can simply play more like knight e6 now he's threatening knight f8 check and wins so uh, knight f5 check and knight g5 so f5 is not there so rook e4 is also good uh, now the idea is to play rook the other rook to f1 or e1 Having both have both are very good actually. So even knight d5 is equally good. It's not allowing anything, and bishop e3 is not not at all there. Maybe uh, after knight d5, f5 you can simply play more like a queen h3, not pinning anything. And so let us see the game here. He played f5 after knight g2. Queen f3 was played. Bishop f6. Now he is planning to play a move like g5. Very, very, very good attack. g5, f4. This knight on g2 is really bad now. So we have to prevent a move g5. So there is no other move than to play rook f1. Now he can transfer the other rook to e1. So g6 was played. I think g6 uh, um, gives white uh, a good chances to fight now. Uh, instead of g6, uh, one could have tried a more like bishop e5. Now bishop e5 simply uh, not for the uh, this good diagonal. The other reason is now the f5 is supported. Now he can play a more like g5. Very good. Uh, let us see uh, this lead this variation after bishop e5 rook b1 bishop d6 and now he immediately play now he should play knight f4 in view of g5 because after g5 this knight on g2 is really bad and after knight f4 knight d5 white is also looking good so g6 is little slow but uh, Carbona decided to play it's uh, safe so queen d5 was played queen c7 black don't want to exchange uh, and go to an end game where he will uh, um, face very problems to defend this position knight f4 rook e8 here uh, here uh, i think white played a little uh, more that he wants to see the what is the black plan by playing king h1 um here i think uh, one should play a move like knight e6 maybe knight e6 queen c8 rook b1 maybe after bishop uh, e5 see bishop e5 knight f4 king g7 and queen f3 this position is also a slight advantage for white in view of just he'll get an open file after everything is exchanged uh, even though black is having two pawns uh, one pawn for his bishop white can even if you have two pawns also this entry file of this rook is very dangerous after everything is exchanged you can play more like b4 and play rook b1 after a into b4 a into b4 knight into b4 rook b1 knight into d3 rook into b7 so King h1, he just waited for one more. Rook e5, Queen g2, Knight e7. b4 was played, a4. You cannot open this uh, rook file. So b5, Bishop g5, Knight e2, Queen d7. Now black is simply trying to. Uh, uh, dominate the position with his uh, pieces rook b4 a very good move the idea is simply rook a4 rook b3 rook a7 here black played rook e3 at this moment white is uh, still better i think he, um, he played in this game he played c5 which is a really really big mistake uh, because uh, two things one thing is uh, simply allowing queen d5 knight d5 knight c3 maybe knight for something like f4 
or this uh, c5 move is not even necessary in this position he could have simply defend this d3 pawn by playing rook f3 maybe after rook f3 uh, there is no counter chances for black uh, rook into d3 is not possible if you play a move like uh, f4 he can simply grab with knight into f4 if you play a move like rook e6 he can take rook a4 and trying to enter this position so after rook, e, rook f3 i think uh, white uh, is clearly better so instead of uh, playing c5 and kind of complicating these things so rook d3 c6 b c6 and b6 queen b7 stopping b7 knight into d4 knight d5 rook into a4 queen into b6 knight e6 now in this this position is uh, now uh, black is better so somehow white uh, tra manager to draw this position by playing a brilliant move in the end game he played queen e3 uh, just pause this position for a while and try to see a forced uh, draw variation for white which kramnik played in time travel in this game okay the move is uh, rook e4 this is the only move that white can uh, draw this position or else any other move like uh, moving this knight to c5 or uh, you no know, rook e2 will be a, a very very bad for white okay to queen e2 maybe he'll get mated knight f4 everything so rook e4 and if uh, f into e4 rook f7 check rook f8 is a draw so which was happened in the game after queen into e4 queen into e4 f into e4 rook f7 check and now both players agree for a draw in view of king e g8 rook check and there is no king g7 so king h7 check so here he, he, there is no way that our black can escape the check so both agree for a draw this was a very uh, very good game played between Kramnik and Corvana. Uh, hope you enjoyed the game. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave comments. Uh, see you in the next live game, next live video. Uh, bye.